Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel on Fan TV. Back at another video. Like the content. If you want to go ahead and smash that like button on the content channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Look, um, John Harbaugh had his press conference today, and the only thing I really took away from it is that the Ravens are okay with being okay. And that's probably what the title of this video is going to be. Uh, basically, so back in 2012, right, when the Ravens offense was kind of like this one, boring, sluggish, struggling, whatever you want to describe it, all of the above, they fired Cam Cameron in, like, I think it was, like, week 14 after a disappointing loss versus Washington Redskins, right? Now, you come up with this game, right, that they just had disappointing loss versus a team that they probably should have beat, things like that. But in this iteration of the Ravens, nothing is going to change, okay? Uh, Great Roman is still employed, things like that. I know you guys have probably seen the Ty's Bowser put on the IG story with the fire Greg Roman uh, paper that was all left on the ground in front of the castle and things like that, right? So at John Harbaugh's press conference, right, you know, nothing's announced about Greg Roman, so obviously he's still employed. But this is this this is this is the rhetoric he starts to go into, okay? He has faith in his coaching staff, right? We're a team, we're together, we're a team. When a reporter, Cordell Woodland, uh, covers the Ravens. He asked John Harbaugh about changing the play calling duties and things like that. Is that even a possibility? John Harbaugh instantly shut down the idea. And like I said, he said he has faith in his coaches, okay? Um, and now, after he says that, this, this is when we get to the quotes about, you know, he has faith in the team. We're together. We're a team. Uh, we're on to the Atlanta Falcons, all kinds of stuff like that. This is just excuses. And he says stuff like, we're going to save the end of the bar talk for God, for people at the end of the bar. You know, he says that, you know, we're happy that the fans can have these kind of conversations, this and that, whatever. But um, nobody's more upset after losses like that than the coaches and the players and this and that. Da, da, da. And then he says that uh, December football is crazy. Have you seen the games this past weekend? December football is crazy. Um, so really, it's just more excuses, OK, because frankly, this has nothing to do with the Super football being crazy. It has nothing to do with. Um, people who are quote unquote unqualified to talk about this, talking about it, is the fact that the Ravens have an identity under John Harbaugh, and that's 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 been underachieving since that last Super Bowl, right? So before that, yeah, great, whatever. But since 2012, the Ravens have un underachieved, and that's not really a far fetched statement, to be quite honest with you. Okay. Um, now this kind of press conference isn't going to do nothing but. Have fans lose more trust in the team, have lose more trust in what's going on. Because in 2012, it wasn't too late to fire Cam Cameron in the season. Just right, just like right now, it's not too late to let go of Greg Roman in the season. They say, hey, look, it's not working out. Let's go in a different direction. We'll hire somebody, or not hire somebody else, we'll, we'll promote somebody else, okay? But for whatever reason, the Ravens are okay with being okay. And this offense will be either okay or even worse, right? Maybe. It'll be bad without Lamar Jackson. It'll be okay with Lamar Jackson, right? Run game will be fine, even better when he, Lamar comes back. Pass the game will be okay because Lamar Jackson is a talented thrower of the football, right? But once again, they're going to bank on the Superman abilities of Lamar Jackson to um, lift up the team. And that's an issue. It's a major issue, okay? Um, I saw his press conference. I just wanted to you know, drop this video talking about it because it's just like, you just can't, I mean, I guess you can say whatever you want. You know, you're the head coach of the team, you know, do whatever that makes you feel right. But it's just like, it's a kind of lack of self-awareness. You say all the things on Sunday about play calling and, you know, it needs to be better, it needs to be better, this and that. But we're this far into the season and nothing has changed. Over the past three years, nothing has really changed. So how can you can just keep saying, I have faith in the coach, we have faith in the coaches when there has nothing that has backed up that faith. Um, so with, with the Ravens and John Harbaugh, the news that most people are looking forward to about, you know, a change in offense, a sleep leasing office, a coordinator, it's not going to happen. Right now. Also part of John Harbaugh's press conference is the fact that he said he's going to give no, uh, injury updates as far as the players go. Cause he doesn't want to give out a competitive advantage. Um, here's what it is. But Ian Rappaport did report that, um, Marcus Peters, has a calf strain, a mild calf strain, and will be out for a short period of time. He didn't say how long a short period of time was, uh, but, you know, if I had to guess, you know, at least at least this game, maybe even the next game after that, maybe he'll come back. We'll see. Uh, still on losing Calais Campbell, 
Uh, still no news on Lamar Jackson. So I guess tomorrow when the injury report happens, since everything's going to be pushed up a day, just like last week, we'll get the injury report on Tuesday. We'll know what happened with Lamar Jackson. But as far as the Ravens and as far as any changes happening, this rest of this season is going to ride out, has to ride out uh, to, uh, to start off with, honestly. There's going to be no changes. It's going to be more of the same. And that's unfortunate, right? Because the Ravens are throwing a, a chance to be um, a special team down the drain. And it's unfortunate. They're, they're, they're throwing it down the drain. You know, it is what it is. Uh, they're going to go into the offseason. Ray Roman and the Ravens are going to part ways. Um, when obviously they could have just did it. They could have did it two years ago. They could have did it before this season. They could have did it during the season. They're going to wait to, they're going to wait to the offseason, having wasted this entire year. And then now, then they're going to want to start over. But it is what it is, man. You know, the Ravens, you're still going to watch, still going to support and hope for the best. Because that's what right now, that's what John Harbaugh is, is, is praying on. And that's hope. So we'll see if that works out for him, man. It's your boy Gabriel, just on the fan TV. Bye.